All right, working inside today. Uh, yesterday I got this wall, uh, all the siding and sheathing removed. It's got 7 16 sheathing all the way around. This is what it looks like. Still intact, it's got a little water damage. But uh, all the framing behind it looks really good. I don't see any issues, the bottom plate. Nice and clean, no rot. <clears throat> so no studs to fix. No termite damage, thankfully. And the reason I had to strip this is the closet wall that I built yesterday is gonna butt in here. So I had to add a, a nailer. This is gonna be the corner basically. So the wall is gonna sit about right here. So I got a nailer for sheetrock on this corner, a nailer for sheetrock on this corner, and the door from the bedroom out here to the bathroom and closet is gonna be uh, from here to here approximately. So I gotta frame that out still, but I'm not ready to cut that open yet. So I got the wall framed up yesterday. Um, it's a non-load bearing, but since I'm using a pocket door, I went ahead and built a, a, a real header in it. It just makes for a nice uh, stiff pocket door. And because it's over 60 inches long, I followed code. And you have two jacks there, and then you don't have to have two kings, but I did it anyway. And then the third one there is where this stud is, uh, 16 inches from that end. So I went ahead and just did the three. And it worked out the same on this side. Two kings, stud, and then the two jacks. And that's a 2x10 header. Uh, two 2x10s sandwiching a piece of uh, 7 16 sheathing. And then this is a 2x4 and a 1x4, basically 3 quarter inch thick uh, for spacers to get my rough opening height here, what I need for the pocket door frame. This is the pocket door frame. It's a little upgrade from the old wooden ones. This is all metal, all metal frame. And I put it together, pretty simple. These just clip in and a couple of screws here, a couple of brackets that are screwed on. This is a Rocket brand pocket door frame. Got a couple of brackets here. These are just for installation purposes. Once you get it screwed into the frame, you pull these out. Of course, the door goes in here. And it's got all the hardware, the rollers. Comes with everything but the door, so I'll have to buy a door. And we're gonna do a mirrored, a mirrored pocket door, so. And the door is gonna be centered, even though the opening the rough opening is not centered, the actual door itself will be centered. So once I get this up, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So the trick today is to uh, get this wall stood up, uh, get it plumb and square and nailed in place.
it's got to be. Now all I got to do is uh, level it, square it, and plumb it. So all those things, level and plumb, pretty much the same in this situation. And then uh, once I get it nailed in, I'm going to add a, a double a top plate to it. To go between the, so it'll be a double top plate just like the rest of it. And then I've got a metal, a uh, metal tie plate to go from the main wall. Uh, it'll tie it in up here. And then I'm not sure, I might get another one. Probably be an angle bracket on this side. Uh, so it'll go up and tie into the original house truss. So it'll tie in right there. All right, so. Let me get going on this thing. Too bad. Let me turn this fan off. It's loud. So yeah, once you uh, get in the hole, just get her centered up there. My rough opening was a little tight, but push it up and just put a couple of screws in these there and there. And then there's three more brackets that attach on this side, and that'll square it up. And I just gotta. Square up the back channel, screw it to the floor right there, and then that's all I do until I get the uh, until I get the pocket door. We're going to order a mirrored pocket door, so we'll see how that turns out. All right, I got the top bracket screwed in both sides. The kit doesn't come with these screws, so I just use some inch and five eighths uh, countersunk uh, deck screws. Got all those in. And this bottom rail is perfectly level. So now I'm trying to get the back, back of the frame plumb up and down. Then I can screw in here, same screws. They didn't come with any of those. And that'll be it for the frame.
is to it. Three screws on the back, the back channel, and then six, uh, ten screws on the top on those brackets. Make sure everything's square and level. And then all I have to do is attach this here. I got to get this square and attach it to the floor. I had to put some shims under. It leaves you room for the finished floor height. That's all there is to a rocket pocket door frame. pocket frame squared up to the wall and I got a clamp a piece of straight two by four and that's holding the frame snug and then I got a square uh, it's perfectly square to the floor the two mounting holes fall out right where a plywood or a subfloor joint is so I'm just going to put a hole on either side of it add two new holes and then uh, I got some shims here <coughs> plastic shims, get those in there and screw it on.